Hello everyone and welcome to our channel once again. And today we again have Dr. Anil with us for another very, very important topic. Thank you so much Dr. Anil for joining with us you on our welcome. channel. Today, I want you want to ask you, give us one more method, technique, mantra. What can we do to calm our mind, to bring peace in our mind, bring happiness in our mind? Because all these things are linked. Calmness, happiness, peace. Because you can't have happiness without you have calmness in your mind. So give us one more mantra. What can people do? Well, there are lot of things we've been talking yes. about it we will be talking in future as yes. as more topics come in and uh, to stress on particular parts of mm -hmm. those one thing which is very very important is forgiving okay now forgiveness is a key mm -hmm. to let go of a lot of burden everyone is trying to keep in their mind right when I say burden mm. means a lot of thoughts related mm. to that and all those thoughts have one business to come back and provoke you, to remind you, law of attraction comes in, brings mm. ten different things to you related to that particular subject and people react differently. So a lot of negative thoughts are there because about people that some someone did something to me so we are not we are holding that to ourselves and people get a lot of stress because of that right but the thoughts are a mix up of things hmm. it's not just negative because you have we have gotten into the habit hmm. of thinking that what we do for others right. is a good thing That's and right. we satisfy ourselves with that yeah then if something is not come <laughs> to us in return from yes. the same person or same yeah. environment, we feel that we were neglected. So your expectations are the way you do to other people, whether you do uh, give some money, do something, you want the same or more, your expectations are built up accordingly. Again, and uh, if those expectations are not fulfilled. Right. So all those expectations mm. or you can say conditional, mm. conditional behavior. Okay of our own making mm. since we have grown up in this lifetime we yeah. have made a lot of conditioning or a lot yes. of programming to our mind mm. and the mind will do what we have programmed it right so we can undo the program mm. and put in a new program of forgiving people and forgiving your own self yeah, which is most important mm. than other things you do this is very, very powerful. Like you are saying, as you mentioned in your earlier episodes as well, that brain is like a so, um, hardware and your mind is the software. So you have to put a new software in your mind that you have to forgive yourself and others. How can people go on doing this? How? Because everyone finds it so difficult to forgive others. Because they feel that if I have done do good, whether it's to their parents, whether it's to their children, whether it's to their siblings or friends, if I have done something, I should get the same thing in return. And if the other person is not doing the same thing, right. that person is a bad person. Good and bad is defined by us. Yes. Or have been learned by us. Hmm. And that way we programmed our mind. Mind. Now we can change it. Okay. By changing the thought. Hmm. And you have to do it consciously. Right. So you have to so, be conscious on that first of all. Yes. You, you have all, to be mindful. You have to be conscious. You have to become conscious of the fact. Mm. Or let's say we touched in the mindfulness aware. Mm. Awareness is very important. Right. So that awareness that you are conscious self can change things for you. Mm. So like something happened. And I always describe it with the whoever was involved in that thought. Mm. So let's say there was a thought, there were five people and something happened where you felt that 
you were not respected or you didn't get the answer as expected. Yes. And then you are going to beat up on that for years. Mm. Uh, I don't want to meet these four people again mm. and uh, try to avoid them or whenever you face them, you yeah. get the same thoughts again. So the easier way is to sit down, relax, take your own time, close your eyes and recollect that thought. Okay. Which was there. Mm. Now you can start by forgiving yourself. So okay. I forgive myself for whatever happened at that moment. Hmm. And if I was at fault, I still forgive myself. Okay. And then you start forgiving each everyone. and everyone who hmm. was involved in that thought. But it's very difficult. It's easy to say that you can forgive people. But I feel that some, some people are holding those, uh, you know, grudges for 20, 30, many, many years. All and for life. them, it's very difficult to let go the things. All their life. Yes, all a their child, life. child, hmm. if in the beginning has a grudge against the father parents or parents or, or sibling, yeah. this can last for their whole lifetime. So how, I mean, when it, if it is like has happened yesterday or day before, sometimes it's easy to let go. Or maybe the age you are in, if you are 40, 50, you're matured enough to understand that. But the whole life you are holding that grudge. How can you explain to teach children or young people not to hold grudges. Well, because they have the whole life ahead of them. Right. But like a lot of, I would say, let's Again, just being touch mindfulness the, or it conscious. It is the conscious mm. awareness, which if you decide mm. that, okay, I'm going to improve myself because I cannot live with these thoughts forever. Right. So you are making a decision when you are planning to forgive those thoughts. So or they should see that if, if I'm forgiving, I'm not forgiving someone for their benefit. I am doing good to myself. And we all want to make our life better, make our life more peaceful, make our life more calm. But when we are talking about these thoughts which are bothering you, yes. are also your thoughts. That's so true. All, all the thoughts are you. Or that scene. Yeah. Or the play which happened for those five people and mm. you were the one who was neglected. Yeah. That was your thought. That's true. So in the end, you are working on your thoughts mm. for your own benefit. Right. You can give it a try. You can collect two, three incidents of your life. Mm. Sit down. Okay. 10 minutes, 15 minutes and close your eyes. Analyze and them. Start forgetting them. See okay. the result. Okay. You do it one time, yeah. two times, three times. And then you will realize that that thought is not bothering you anymore. Yeah, it was not you, that powerful thought because you were giving power to that thought. You can meet that person. Yes. And universe will put that person in front of you just to test uh, what your uh, resolve is, whether you have achieved it or not. Hmm. It's going to bring back that circumstance in a different way, maybe a different person. Okay, so may not be the same person, maybe a different same person. person okay. Maybe a different and person, but same situation. Oh, could that's, be that's there very interesting. To oh. see whether you've learned something or not. Okay, okay, okay. So, so when so you start forgiving, mm. the magic starts. It's very magical. Right. Forgiveness is magical. Yeah. And it will help your mind, your thoughts, and your grudges will leave. Mm. Now, yes. if you explain it to somebody that yeah. is going to benefit you, he may not agree first time. Hmm. You can say, okay, give it a try. No, Why don't you try it for a week and then come back, tell us if it's... Yeah, this is sense. very, very interesting and powerful that if you start forgiving the circumstances, the people and yourself, the people will, uh, the situation will come for a different people because right. universe want to test you whether you have learned or not. So what you can do hmm. is... Touch the thought which is not as bothersome as the thought which is very bothersome. Okay. So try working on that. Uh huh. And then go towards the difficult thought. So, mm. so the one which you think you want to leave, don't touch it the first few. Yeah. Times. Touch the. So start with something which is there. Yeah. And you know it is bothersome, mm. but it's not hurting you it's as not much. Not hurting you as much. It's because it, it will be easy for that thought to let go. And then so, you imp train your mind. You practice it. And the good thing is all the thoughts, they work the same way. Right. So if you are successful with one, yeah. which was not at a scale of 10, maybe it was at level 2 or 4, mm. 
don't touch the so third the, which is at the scale of 10 yeah the, so so the one which was scale of 2 and one is at the scale of 10 that means we are giving more energy mm. more power to the one which is at the Or scale of it 10. is it is uh, that's why it's bothering it us it was picked up very early in life mm. or from your previous birth or like like your karma is karma. acting mm. in a different different mm. way so no, this is very interesting but i think it's a very very deep topic which we need to touch more but i think for uh, this episode we need to be very very brief like i mean i think we can talk about this for so what you are saying is that how people should start practicing forgiveness is that they should take some thoughts which are less bothering not too much and try to let go them forgive people in that thought well one day i was trying to explain it to my mother okay so i said no matter what hmm let's start with the thought which comes in your mind okay doesn't matter whether it's bothering you or not okay you start That's an forgiving easy way. Yeah, you okay. start forgiving everyone involved in that thought so let's say okay. you go back when you were small okay and you remember the an someone incidence. did something wrong to Wait, you or uh, say, said something wrong let's say somebody pushed you okay and you fell on the ground but you still remember it yeah but you don't have a continuous grudge against that mm. you were playing a game okay yeah but you can go to that thought aha uh-huh. and forgive yeah. yourself so and then you the will, you say that okay you let go it's not much bothering me but and slowly slowly you go on a Th- that's how you pick up one. thought so mm. it doesn't have to be a thought now same time mm. let's say you remember a good thought right you can practice on that mm. and then give a thought of appreciation and gratitude right for that thought mm. so so you sit down 10 minutes and see what comes in mind mm. so whichever thought you analyze is it good it's or bad a good bad? thought you can yeah. appreciate you can give your gratitude that i'm grateful can... that i learned from it mm. and i was really happy and excited mm. at that moment and the bad one i mean i won't say bad one the one which is not that nice right so there is no bad will, thought yeah, in it yeah way. so that's what we it. make of it yes that's right good and bad as you said it's your own perception it's your own perception yeah. because same thought can may be, not be bothersome for thousands of people absolutely absolutely in the same situation yeah but your conditioning is that way that you yeah. picked it up yes so now is your job to mm. let's say deal with all your thoughts mm. Now this is very very going to be helpful for uh, many subscribers because forgiveness is such thing like even before gratitude or it goes hand in hand that you have to be gra- grateful and you have to forgive some thoughts and this is one of the i think very powerful way people can make their life calm happy and peaceful right is lot of people will say oh i have forgotten about that mm but they don't know the magical power of law of attraction mm. that one similar thing happen is going to bring it back to you yes more multiple thoughts will come right so you start let's say there is one thought which is bothersome and mm. you forgiven it or everybody who was there you forgiven it 10 times yeah and now you are going about your business and that thought comes mm. consciously you remind yourself that i have forgiven this right i'm not going to entertain it right So you play a game where you accept that it's already forgiven why yeah. I'm experiencing then that was maybe a test for you mm. to see how you will react in that situation yeah. when that thought comes no, back to you That's right I have practiced this and you feel that when you start forgiving you are more peaceful you are more happy lot of things you feel lot of burden from your inside you know which you have on your head and heart it goes away and it well, lighten you up we're talking about the head the heart brings in lot more uh, power to you mm. so we're not touching that part right. as yet yes because that is a uh, very very powerful mm. when your heart and mind is going in the same direction mm. and you're using both of your powers yeah to change something in your right life. so change is inevitable right everything is changing any time yes you grew up you were small now mm. you're big and the, every day we are changing every yeah. moment, moment of your life there is a change yeah. you are a different person than mm. you were before a moment ago yeah, yeah. so change is inevitable mm. it's just you having an open mind to accept that change and uh, evolve with that change and start to forgive mm. forgive those thoughts appreciate what is good happen right. give gratitude to what you feel mm. was done to you by the people who showed up in your yeah. environment yeah 
So forgiveness is very, 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 very powerful. powerful. Now, thank you so much for giving us such uh, insight into the forgiveness. Uh, like I know it's how powerful it is, but still. If you have given a totally dis- different perspective, like you can go into your memory lane in your thoughts and how you can pick up the thoughts and see uh, how you right. can practice forgiveness on that. So thank you so much for joining and giving us such a great insight into it. And we will meet you in our next episode. You are always welcome. Thank you.